अनिल नरसिंगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी योगेश्वरी महाविद्यालय अमरोहा फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू परफॉर्म द पोअर क्लाइट मेथड फॉर आइसोलेशन ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन प्योर कल्चर सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स सो फ्रेंड्स वॉट इज पोअर क्लाइट मेथड Pure plate method. It is one of the pure culture technique which is used for isolation of microorganisms in pure culture. This pure plate method it is based on the serial dilution of the mixed culture or the sample that is made with the nutrient agar plate that is mixed with the nutrient agar, and then the colonies which are formed on the surface of the nutrient agar they must be countable. so this pore plate method it is also used to enumerate the microorganisms which are present in the sample the pore plate method it involves the serial dilution of the mixed culture or the bacterial suspension with sterile distilled water or saline and this is one of the usually employed method so friends let's start with this pore plate method what is the requirement for the pore plate method so the requirement for the pore plate method it is the sterile molten cool nutrient agar then we should have the pipette we are having the micro pipette then glass marking pencil for marking the plates and the test tubes then we have we should have the different dilutions of the test tube which is containing the key water so all the requirement it is ready with us let us start with this power plate method first step in the power plate method it is we have to make serial dilutions of the sample so the sample which is we have to uh, mix that serial dilution with that of the nutrient agar plate so we have to prepare a set of at least 6 tubes and each tube it is containing 9 ml of sterile distilled water or saline and then we have to inoculate that diluted sample into the petri dish the mixed culture or the sample it is with us so with the help of this micro pipette we have to perform the practical aseptical so as to avoid external contamination so firstly we have to take this mixed culture and then with the help of micro pipette we have to take 1 ml of this sample so we will we will remove the cotton plug of this bacterial suspension or the sample then we have to fling the neck of that sample and with the help of this micro pipette we will take 1 ml of that sample so friends we have prepared the serial dilution and from the 10 to the power of minus 1 dilution we have taken 0.01 ml of the 10 to the power of minus 1 dilution and we have to inoculate into the petri dish we just have to open this petri dish enough to insert this uh, micro pipette the tip of the micro pipette and then we have to add 0.1 ml into the petri dish we have added it at the center of the petri dish and then Uh, we'll keep the micro pipette aside, and then we have to use a sterile molten cool agar. We have to flame the neck of this nutrient agar conical flask, and then we have to pour this nutrient agar into this petri dish, and then reflame the mouth or mouth of this conical flask, and then we have to after the addition of cool molten agar we have to. gently rotate this plate so as to obtain the uniform mixing of the microorganisms and we have to keep this plate for solidification and after solidification we have to incubate the plates at 37 degrees celsius for 24 hours in the incubator we have to take each of these dilution with the help of the micro pipette and for each dilution we have to use the separate tips uh, for the micro pipette and then each of the dilution we have to add aseptically into the plate which is labeled with that corresponding dilution 
and then we have to pour the nutrient agar into each of the plate so we have to repeat this procedure for all the dilutions and then we have to keep this plate for incubation so the plate it is solidified and this plate in the inverted position we have to keep it into the incubator for incubation at 37 degrees celsius for 24 hours so friends this is incubator as i shown in the previous video and uh, we have to keep this plate in inverted position into the incubator for incubation at 37 degrees celsius for 24 hours and after incubation we have to observe the colonies friends we have prepared the pour plate method we have kept the plate in inverted position for incubation at 37 degrees celsius for 24 hours into the incubator and then we have taken out the plate petri dish and we can see the colonies are formed onto the plate then we have to count these colonies and we have to calculate the CFU per ml that is colony forming units so this power plate method it is also used for enumeration of microorganisms in the given sample and then we can count the plate we can count the colonies which are present on the uh, surface of the nutrient agar plate but we have to select the plate or the plate uh, which is containing 30 to 300 colonies that is uh, the colonies that plate it is suitable for the counting only